Hi there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six wonderful old songs. As always, you can find the links to these songs in the comments section below. So when I'm saying old, I'm saying old, okay? I love all of these songs. I've listened to them all my life. So let's just dip into it. Song number one is Polly Wally Doodle, uh, this time sung by Shirley Temple back in 1935. Uh, I, I adore this song. Shirley does a great version of it. And um, what is the movie? There's a movie with Edward Arnold and Gene Arthur and Jimmy Stewart. Is it, uh, I think it's You Can't Take It With You, perhaps? And uh, uh, Lionel Barrymore and Edward Arnold play it on the harmonica while people are dancing around and stuff. And that's a wonderful version, too. But uh, the Shirley Temple one, I saw that they deftly edited together her original part of the song and then later on she kind of reprises it in the film and they pretty nicely did that in the videos there for you to see. Anyway, that's song number one, Polly Wally Doodle by Shirley Temple. Song number two is Blue Tail Fly, also known as Jimmy Crack Corn. Uh, this version is from Burl Ives in 1964. Uh, many, many things. I probably first heard Bugs Bunny singing it. Um, and I love the version that's sung in Pee Wee's Big Adventure by the, the, the old guy on the train. You know what I'm saying if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm saying. But um, Burl does a great version, and I think this is from the Ed Sullivan show, I believe. Uh, the video quality is uh, kind of abysmal, but it doesn't matter. Uh it's great. It's a great version of it. It's a, a song. I could just picture my dad smiling to song number two, Blue Tail Fly, a.k.a. Jimmy Crack Corn, sung by Burl Ives. Song number three is By the Light of the Silvery Moon. And this is by uh, Billy Murray and the Haydn Quartet. And this recording, I kid you not, is from 1910. So, 114 years ago. So I saw that, like, oh, I've got to put that version. You know, I love the, by the light of the silvery moon, the crew loves tune. I, I, I want to spoon to my honey, I'll croon loves tune great piece and uh, really historical to have a 1910 recording of it for your enjoyment. Song number three, By the Light of the Silvery Moon by Billy Murray and the, Murray and the Haydn Quartet uh, circa 1910. Uh, song number four is In the Good Old Summertime and this version is by Nat King Cole, the great uh, and this recording is around 1963. Uh, it's one of those that just like really takes you back. You know what I'm saying? I think all these do. And Nat King Cole had that timeless voice. You know, this could be an 80s recording or a 40s recording. It doesn't even matter. I mean, it wouldn't be an 80s because he wasn't around. But 1963, prime Nat King Cole time. You know what I'm saying? And a prime song in the good old summertime, which is song number four, in the good old summertime, by Nat King Cole, sung by Nat King Cole. Song number five is its its proper title is Daisy Bell, but we know it as Bicycle Built for Two. And this is another. I don't even know the year on this recording, but it's by. Gerald Adams and the Variety Singers. And uh, it's a honey of a version. Of, I'm trying to think. I've heard so many versions of it. You know, we all have. Um, 
I seem to think, did I ever sing this in school? I don't know. I really can't tell you. But I, I, I can't remember not hearing this song, if you know what I mean. As far back as I can go, I know I heard Bicycle Built for Two. So a classic. I would say, yes, it's up there as like one of the great songs that was ever written. You know, it'll always be around 200 years from now. It will still be sung. That's saying a lot. So that is song number five, Bicycle Built for Two, a.k.a. Daisy Bell, or Daisy Bell, a.k.a. Bicycle Built for Two, sung by Gerald Adams and the Variety Singers. And we finish with song number six, Moonlight Bay. Uh, this version is from the Ames Brothers from circa 1955. We were sailing along on a moonlight bay. Great song. Uh, another one, you know, as I think of it, a lot of these ended up in some form or other in Warner Brothers cartoons. So I'm sure that that was my first hearing of many of these songs. I can I can remember Bugs singing Moonlight Bay. Uh, this is the Ames Brothers with, with Ed Ames, who uh, many people will remember on like Johnny Carson bloopers where he threw the axe at the silhouette of the guy and it hit him square on in the crotch. Um, but it's a beautiful vocal performance by the Ames brothers and they do a nice little dance thing in the middle there. And it's a pure entertainment for all of us. And it is song number six, Moonlight Bay, by, sung by the Ames brothers circa 1955. And that concludes six wonderful old songs. And they are. And you know they are. And you they all resonate deep inside of you. So give these all a look and a listen. Let me know. Let me hear from you. I love you all. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>